Dave, a lot of fans were sort of looking for uh, perhaps a signing of a defender, perhaps a centre defender to cover for, for Ryan or Robert, particularly when Robert picked up that injury uh, last week and this sort of thing. But it hasn't happened, or, or even a fallback. You know, were you looking for both? Yes. Uh, in a nutshell? Yes. But it didn't, uh, it didn't happen? No, it didn't happen. Um, you know. <laughs> It's difficult for me to say. I, you, know, you, know, you can identify talent, identify players that you want, and hopefully those deals get done. You've got two world-class international goalkeepers, and you decide to sign a third one. You know, it's, it's you're going to add three to those. I think Thomas Sorensen would be uh, put out if uh, if he wasn't included in. Uh, in, a, in that group. No, I mean, you got two, you've got, now got three. Oh, oh sorry, or, or, have you, got, or have you got four now? No, well, <laughs> let's, let's get Nash in quickly before he, he, he throws <laughs> a strop. Uh, no, well, I mean, you know, we, we are, um, you know, we're well sourced in that, in that position now, which is brilliant, as I say, that you want to be, but we're short at left back. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can any of them play left back? I have asked, but uh, <laughs> well, that's the, that's the question I was going to ask about. You can't use your hands at left back, so they, oh. they're not quite so keen. It should change the rules. Breck Shea, though, I mean, people have said, well, he's a defender. No, he's a midfielder. No, he's, he's a winger. What position is he? Well, he is a bit of a utility, and as I say, once we get him fit and ready to play, we can find out where he, we can use him best, which will be the situation. But uh, we've signed him because he's a young talented player, but we didn't sign him to go, say, play centre-half, left-back, left-wing, centre-midfield. We signed him because he's a young, talented player that we could get, and we got him, and which is good, which is what you like to do. But, as you pointed out, we also needed a left-back and a centre-half, uh, which we didn't get. Finally, one question about uh, where you're playing on Saturday. You've, got, you've been going to Anfield and coming back with results. You've been going to uh, Stamford Bridge and you know socking it to them there. But uh, when it comes to the Emirates... It's it's not turned out particularly well the last four seasons. What's the problem? Um, they're very good. Yes, I have noticed. <laughs> what can Stoke do about it? Well, as I say, we're working. The last two years have been our best two performances. As I say, last year we were one one after seventy five minutes, and then they brought this fellow Van Persie on. I don't know where he is now. Um, and they come and go so quickly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, he did some damage, and uh, you know it's what happens. You've got world class players, that, and this can happen. And the year before uh, we lost one nil, but I, I would, can honestly say we were unfortunate. We certainly have got something that uh, that year didn't. Um, so, you know, as I say, the last two have been our best efforts, and hopefully we can progress from that and actually get something tomorrow, whether it be a draw or a win, uh, and sort of make our mark at the Emirates because it would be a wonderful place to go and, go and win. That's, you know, we, you say we go to these places, um, and it's brilliant when you pick up a result, as you pointed out, say, like Liverpool as an example, go to Anfield, it, it, it's, it, it's wonderful, but we want to do it at the Emirates, and we've got an opportunity tomorrow. So it's not a foregone conclusion? Certainly not. That's what I want to hear. Thanks, Dave. Thanks very much. Thank you.